A major underwater fault line stretching along the U.S. west coast has the potential to cause over a 9-degree earthquake as well as tsunami, a new geological study has revealed. The fault is capable of generating one of the worst earthquakes the world has seen, according to a study published in the journal Science Advances. Scientists have mapped Cascadia subduction zone fault line using underwater mapping technique. If erupted, the 600-mile fault line stretching from southern Canada to northern California could generate tsunamis reaching 100 feet tall, damage more than half a million buildings and kill countless people in its wake. The tsunami is likely cause $80 billion in damages and leave 10,000 dead also in just Oregon and Washington alone, according to estimates. Emergency plans are in place for Oregon and Washington in the aftermath of a quake. The earthquake will also cause deaths and diseases due to contaminated waters and exposure to mass dead bodies. Co-author Professor Harold Tobin said, We have the potential for earthquakes and tsunamis as large as the biggest ones we've experienced on the planet. Cascadia seems capable of generating a magnitude 9 or a little smaller or a little bigger, he added. The researchers believe that Vancouver, Seattle and San Francisco cities fall into a violent zone which would see the worst devastation as the fault line is quite smooth. For decades, scientists have warned about the potential of the Cascadia subduction zone, a mega-thrust fault that runs offshore along the coast from northern Vancouver Island to Cape Mendocino, California. The fault is split into four segments, meaning the faults could rupture independently of one another, or all together at once, and due to differences in types of rocks and other seismic characteristics, some lines could be more dangerous than others. While the study cannot predict when Cascadia will unleash a quake, the authors note it is believed to give way to big quakes roughly every 500 years. The last one occurred in 1700, and caused a tsunami, which struck the west coast of North America and the coast of Japan. France's historic Palace of Versailles was briefly evacuated on Tuesday afternoon after plumes of smoke was spotted amid construction work near the Marble Court, an area of the original palace built in 1623. Hundreds of tourists and staff members were evacuated from the palace following the emergence of the smoke. Footage shared on social media showed smoke emerging from the roof of the 17th-century palace located some 10 miles from the center of Paris. French media reported that a fire alarm was triggered in one of the buildings and alerted staff who promptly called the emergency services. Footage showed hundreds of palace visitors flooding the courtyard outside one of the buildings as the firefighters entered the building to locate and extinguish the flames. Associated Press reported, with reference to the palace press office that there was no fire, but smoke was emanating from a hot zone in the wood. The office said local firefighters quickly put out the smoke. Palace of Versailles is among France's most popular tourist destinations along with the likes of the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral and the Louvre. Ah non, c'est un feu, regarde, ça fume noir. Ah oh non, c'est les pompiers, là, ils sont partis en courant. C'est une bosse, quoi, faut compter ça comme cuisine. Je sais pas. Hein. Non, 
Non, crois pas que ce soit la vidéo de toi. Vous voulez vous en dire Maintenant, il y a ça Ah non, c'est un feu, regarde, ça fume noir. Hein.